This is a follow-up video to my previous video where I went and talked about outlets. And one of the ones that I was really impressed with before I started using it uh, was the Leviton. The Leviton EV uh, charge, EV charge um, outlet. It's designed for EVs and it had a uh, torque rating of 75 inch pounds. And when I went to install it, uh, the torquing it actually stripped it out and it kind of started bulging out the plastic here. I don't know if you can see where it was bulging out and stuff. And I was like, man, you know, that's not good. I was like, well, let me look inside to see what's going on in there, right? Well, I can't because they seal it up to where it's not easy to, unless I break it, trying to open it up uh, to see what's going on. So uh, I knew about Hubble and Hubble is what most people recommend for EV charging, stuff like that. Heavy duty outlets. This one actually has the EV stamp of approval, I guess you can say on there. And I was like, okay, well, what's the difference? I know after a little bit of experience, I know this, this Leviton is basically a knockoff, a basically a Chinese knockoff made in China uh, of the Hubble is what it looks like. And it obviously not as good. And you can see here made in USA on the Hubble and then made in China. Of course, they have to put that on the back. Uh, and it's not like, you know, China can't make decent knockoffs, right? And it uh, seemed fine. I mean, it seemed really good when I first looked at it, especially when you compare it to just a regular outlet. But anyways, um, just wanted to show you the difference here. So we're going to disassemble. We're going to look in here and we're going to disassemble, which the Hubble, you're able to disassemble it and look at the components. And we're going to see what the actual difference is. Uh, first of all, these Allen wrenches are bigger. Uh, this is like a four millimeter here. And they, they both, uh, both of them tighten to 75 inch pounds. So this one has a higher, a larger um, Allen and does have instructions. And it says a 3 16 Allen wrench. And we tighten that to 75 inch pounds. So we have instructions in here for the Hubble. We have a really cheap box <laughs> for the Hubble. Uh, when I first got the box, I was like, is this a knockoff? Is this like a, like a knockoff of the Hubble? Um, you know, like a fake one, like a counterfeit? But apparently not. Uh, it's just a, that's just what their, their packaging looks like. And then you can see the Leviton packaging looks all legit, you know? So, not sure what the deal is with that. But anyways, let's go ahead and disassemble this. Okay, so there's some screws back here. And we're going to go ahead and take those out. Probably don't even need to do this. But uh, uh, I'm just going to take the plate off. Since we're disassembling it, I don't think I actually have to do this. But we'll do it anyway. Just so to show you how it's done. Um, and then we can take the plate off here like so. It kind of it, it hooks right there. And then you just kind of do that number. All right, get that plate out of the way. All right, so now we have a center screw here. So there's the screw. You can see it's fairly long. All right, so there we go. Let's look in here. All right, so you can see there's the inside there. And it has a little, little knob there so it lines up properly so you don't accidentally put it back together wrong. And then here's the inside. Uh, so you can see these fairly large Allen screws. And they go in this fairly chunky copper right here. And you can see that compared to this. You can see these are much thinner compared to these. And that's probably why it's stripped out. And when we pull this out, I'm going to pull that out right there. You can see how it works. Um, it tightens it up. And this actually pulls in like this as you tighten it. So yeah, it's a chunky piece of copper there. And then you have the brass 
uh, with a lot of pressure there to go on the uh, on the blade of the outlet. And get in there straight like so. All right, and that can go there. Uh, so you can see the threads go into uh, copper, and. So yeah, it has to be pretty thick because copper isn't that strong, you know, and that's probably what's going on with this. The copper is too thin. So, you know, if you tight over, if you tighten it and it just can't handle the 75 inch pounds on this one. Now I have two of these Levitons, one of them installed without a problem. I tightened it, torqued it fine. This is the second one I installed and this is the one that's stripped out for some reason. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and take these out so you can see what they look like. Here's the ground. Now notice the ground is it's not like centered in here. It's like a little bit low. I'm not sure what's going on with that. That's the way it's designed for some reason. Or actually this is the neutral, sorry. Uh, the neutral, that's what I meant to say. Uh, you can see it's lower. It's a full size blade. When you take it out, you can see it's a full size blade. So I'm not sure why they position it there in, in that low position. It's not getting full contact. Um, the ground is up here. And this is actually like thinner pieces here. Uh, that piece right there. Anyway, because uh, the ground is not like it, it, it's not, um, you know, that's just like an emergency or whatever, right? It, it's not flowing electricity all the time like these. Now the the two hots are here and the neutrals here and the only time the neutral would flow electricity is if there's an unbalanced load so when it's not balanced on the the two hots it's going to flow through the neutral so on a balanced load theoretically you wouldn't have any uh, power going through the neutral but it could flow as much as um, 110 volts through there so um, so yeah this has to be as beefy as the other one basically and I guess, you know, half the blade, I guess, I mean, considering it only, it's only 110 versus uh, 220, I guess maybe that's the thinking. But um, I'm sure there's a good reason. I mean, you know, they're, the engineers are not stupid, so I'm sure they got some reason uh, behind it. But yeah, that's kind of like the, the teardown of it. And then it's very easy to disassemble. Uh, you can inspect it, and then you can reassemble it making sure everything's lined up properly make sure this ground is all the way there we go now we got it all flat it was just that Allen was not quite centered in that hole all right put that back together Make sure that's tight. Inspect it again. All right. Now we have the strip gauge on the back, and then we uh, do this number here, and we can put these screws back in. You notice the ground is ground hole is lined up there. Trying to look at it and make sure it's in somewhat in view anyway at the same time. All right, so I'm gonna leave that a little bit loose so we can line up the other one. Okay. that a good tightening there all right so now reassembled make sure all that's tightened but yeah this definitely is a better quality 
outlet. I like the way that you can take it apart. You can inspect it. This one is sealed. You can see where the screw, there might be a screw underneath that melted plastic. It looks like they melted a bunch of plastic over the screw so you can't get to it. And has smaller Allens and thinner copper. So yeah, um, for me, 50-50 basically. Uh, so one worked fine or the installation went fine. And uh, this one stripped out on me on all of them. Like I couldn't get any of them. They were all like starting bulging out the plastic and it was just getting misaligned. So, I'll, you know, I don't want to have any issues with it. So uh, I just took it out, ordered this and to see what the difference is. And this apparently is much better. Uh, so this was like on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description. This was like $53. Uh, this was $40. So this is like 39 bucks. And this one is $53 for just a tiny bit more money. Uh, you get a much better outlet. Definitely much better. Now something to note on both of these, the size of this, this right here, uh, the outlet itself is a little bit larger than the standard. So you have to have a special wall plate, but uh, basically they're both the same as far as that goes. So, but yeah, I would just skip on the Leviton completely even though it's a little bit cheaper and uh and just go ahead and spend the extra money get the hubble and um and just go with that for pretty much anything i mean i after looking at this outlet i would say use this for your stove your dryer uh everything you know there's no sense in taking a chance with low quality stuff and i've had a good experience with other brands i mean you know even ev charging uh, I've had really great experience with like, you know, a $10 Eaton outlet, right? <laughs> Hadn't had any problems with it. Now I torqued it, right? I, I gave it a really good torque and made sure that everything was tight. And, 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 and that, I think that's the main thing. No matter what outlet you use, torque it. Make sure that the, that the this is tight, okay? Make sure that, that the wires going in are, are tight and check them every once in a while, you know, especially on an EV uh, charger. Uh, so these being 75 inch pounds, that's a lot of pressure. Uh, so that's, you know, basically somewhat deforming the wire and conforming it in there and getting good, good contact and, um, and, you know, just like get, just getting a, a solid hold on the wire. So, yeah. Um, so there you go. There's a little bit of information on the Hubble. Can't recommend the Leviton anymore. I was impressed with it at first, but, uh, like my, the, 50 50 chance here so i got like one of them worked one of them didn't and when it starts stripping out just trying to and bulging out the plastic and stuff just trying to torque it to the 75 inch pounds uh that's not a good sign so yeah this one at least you can inspect it you can take it apart make sure there's no damage reassemble it make sure there's you can actually take these out look at the contacts and everything and um you know do a, a thorough inspection on this every once in a while it's every couple years or something uh, you know, power it down, take this out, look at it, inspect it, retorque it. You can look at the blades in there to make sure there's no arcing going on. Um, I, I don't know if it's possible that they might sell individual parts for this. I don't know. It seems like it could be. I mean, it, it seems legit enough of a outlet that they might do that. Uh, like if you just had one, one, one that was kind of getting a little bit of arcing going on, maybe they'll sell you something like that, just the individual uh, part for it. I don't know. They should. Uh, another thing is they, they really should, um, like Hubble, should like do stuff like what I'm doing right now, or show the value proposition of their products. Uh, I haven't really seen it. It's really hard to even get just a decent photo of these, you know. They're, they're um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why companies that have quality products, they just want to keep it a secret for some reason, you know, and just just assume people know, saying, well, no, you know. The average person, if you see this, this, this box on the shelf versus this box, this looks more legit, you know. And then, I don't know. It, it's it's very odd to me that you know companies are not doing more to add value to the buyer experience and and show how much better their products are um, when it compares to the competition. So, anyways. This is just another Chinese knockoff to me, the Leviton, that doesn't, it's not working properly for my needs. And this one looks like a, a much better 
deal. You know, if you don't like thirteen dollars more, and you get a solid, really good um, one that you can actually inspect and and everything. So yeah, that's my recommendation. I'll have a link in the description for both of them if you want to check them out. But that's the one I recommend, the Hubble, right here. And here's the barcode, in case that means anything to you. Here's the information on top of the box. 